sifting thousands of posts about Kate and Meghan each day from some of the palace's seven. One million Instagram and 1.68 million Twitter followers is proving painful for staff. If someone says they don't like the dress one of the duchesses is wearing, that's one thing. We would never try to delete that, one source said. It's when the abuse crosses a line and becomes racist or sexist or threatens violence that we take action. Samantha Markle claims royal fans have threatened to kill her Meghan Markle's pregnancy branded fake and Kate called boring some posters have accused Meghan of faking her pregnancy. Others who claim to be feminists have accused Kate of being lazy and faking the severe morning sickness during the early stages of her pregnancies. Although there have been allegations of tension behind the scenes between Kate and Meghan, aides have distanced themselves from blaming the mainstream media for the abuse. Journalists too have been targeted by online trolls whipping up hate. One reporter was told she should have acid thrown into her face and others have faced unfounded allegations of racism. Officials have urged followers who are targeted for abuse to mute or block the abusers and report them to the social media firms if they cross a line. But the Duke of Cambridge has complained that many of the big social media firms have proved unwilling to do enough about online abuse. He, Kate, and Harry have limited their own personal use of social media and rarely go online publicly. Meghan closed down her personal accounts and lifestyle websites before her wedding to Harry and admitted afterwards it was a relief.